Okay, girl. She's just turning towards us. Uh, she's slightly uneasy. I can't see the rest of the herd, which is unusual that she'd just be by herself. Let's try go just around the corner so she, we don't hide away from her. Hey, big girl. Can we come and look at you? Yes? It's okay, young lady. Well, you're not particularly young, but we'll just compliment you anyway. A lovely girl. An older cow. She's got has got a calf. It's just slowly moving in this direction. But you can see how she's smelling us. Yeah, she's been quite subtle about this behaviour now. Just turning her trunk towards us. Now that can be perceived as an agitation sign. But she hasn't done anything else just yet. She's just sort of picking up us and she hasn't flared her ears at us. She is swatting her tail around, but that's because there's lots of midges out on a warm day like today and biting flies, so they could be harassing her. But if she was really angry with us, she probably would have turned and shook her head. No, now she's carrying on. She could just be a, a small satellite party, her and her calf. She might be on the move, heading towards the rest of the herd, which could be off into the distance. But this little one is just going to pop in front of the car now, looking for something to eat. It's so sweet. Stripping the leaves. Come on. Oh, that's lovely. Just reaching in, trying to find the greenest of green leaves. You're doing a lovely job. Now this is an older calf, it's probably about, mm, I would say about three or four years old now. So mom I'm sure has got another little calf inside her belly. Hello. Yes, carry on little one. Roti, you say that an elephant looks like a badly designed elephant. Oh. I'm offended. You can't say that about my favorite animal. I think they've put together beautifully. And for them, it works. They've got a big head with big ears to, to flap about to help keep themselves cool. They've got a trunk. Let me go forward quickly. They've got a trunk on the end of their face, and they use that as an arm. But it also can smell. And that's what they use to suck water up and then spray it into their mouths. It's okay, little one. I don't think so. I think uh, they're built for traveling long distances. I think that they're perfect for Africa. But that's, of course, I'm going to get defensive when you say that about the elephant. <laughs> it doesn't matter who said it. Even, even if um, the president of South Africa told me that an elephant was put together badly, I would defend the elephants to their grave. That's just how much I, I enjoy these creatures, and they've just given me such great sightings. Now, it seems as though this little one is is enjoying the shrub that's feeding on. It's just going from... I don't actually know. It doesn't look like a bush willow, does it? Might be. It could also be a... Oh, there's a whole herd of elephants. It could also be a... What is the other one? A wild meddler. Let me quickly change position for you, since there's a... Mm, get a better view here. There's more coming out. So they're not a satellite party. Here's the rest of the herd. She was leading. She was leading them. Maybe that's old matriarch there. Yeah. <laughs> Roti, you say that I win you over? I'm glad that I've changed your mind. Of course, I was only just teasing. Isn't, wasn't that so beautiful just a moment ago when we uh, had that first shot of the dramatic dark clouds? Look at that with the yellow ground. This is one of my favorite things, and this is what I'm envious about in, uh, that the, the team gets to see in Kenya, is those dramatic open plains with the big storm clouds forming in the distance. Yay, the elephants are back. The elephants are back. You have no idea how happy this makes my heart, and hopefully they'll still be around for this afternoon. As much as I love wild dogs, I would pick spending three hours with elephants over the wild dogs, but we'll see how it goes. Maybe we can do both of them. Wouldn't that be nice? You're shaking your head at me with a piece of food in your mouth. Does your mother not teach you any manners? No, obviously not. This is a young, looks like a young male. So he's at that stage where he's, he's quite cheeky. Also smelling us, being quite subtle, but 
Unfortunately, little elephant, I can read most of your behavior. Oh, hang on, there's a tiny calf. Let's, I know we've only got two minutes, so we've got to do positioning. We've got to see this little baby, it is so sweet. Hello, girl, yes, you've got your trunk right up, don't you? Having a good smell. Oh, it's so small. It is so cute, and we just because, come on, move out the way, Mom. I know you're lovely, but I really want to see this tiny little one. Oh, how precious is this, especially that it's walking in the lovely long grass. Isn't that so sweet? Now, I'm also trying to smell very subtly. Look at that going. What's everybody smelling? Probably me. I probably smell quite strange. Maybe they're picking up on the wild dog scent too. That's another possibility. Oh, you are so precious. This is amazing. This honestly couldn't be a better way to end the show with happiness all the little elephants and this whole herd oh, I wonder where they're going to go also keep an eye out on the dam cam who knows we might be lucky enough to see them hey last minute elephants as usual well I'm gonna try and position us now so we can watch them as they disappear but it has been a splendid morning it was a little bit quiet for me but it's now turned around right towards the end of the drive that's fine I don't mind as long as I get some animals somewhere I'm quite happy with that but we'll sit here and we'll watch these elephants play in the long grass it is such a beautiful scene we had rain yesterday we had all these different things and now well the skies have opened the clouds are disappearing and the animals are making their return to Duma finally you've definitely been patient enough but thank you all very, very much for putting up with the, the quiet moments. They definitely are worth it when we get rewarded with wild dogs and herds of elephants and lovely birds. But join us again for another fun-filled safari this afternoon where Byron and I will be out traveling around. Until then, we'll see you soon.